I've been hearing and feeling stuff from this side since we like went and sat on that bench all night. It's really heavy and like something's going on over there. Whoa. That's just creepy. What the hell? Left. Left. Are you beside us on our left? Port. Right near this door. Someone was just standing on that porch. Seriously? I'm not even kidding. Someone was literally just standing right there. Are you sitting in the benches here somewhere? Yeah. That was so clear. What's up, Mids family? Welcome back to the final episode of the Night of Horrors. Happy Halloween, happy October. Today we brought you guys here to a specific location that is very not talked about, not talked about, unheard of, and a lot of it's kind of swept under the rug and I kind of wanted to cover it. Like both Chelsea and I found this story very intriguing and fascinating and we're gonna cover it tonight. Only thing is that it started to rain, like right now. It's kind of raining a bit now. It's yeah, it kind looks of like stopped. it's like drizzling. Yeah. No. It stopped raining? It stopped raining. Oh my god. It's our time to shine. Yeah, it kind of poured like... When we were driving yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you guys may have missed it, but in the previous vlog, the one before, not this one, but the one before that, it was labeled, we had news. I mentioned that the past week has been extra hectic for us and the way it played out, we didn't get a chance to do what was on the list, which left a few days open. Recently, we went to PEI and got a chance to go to that Playhouse Theater, the King's Playhouse, which we actually threw into the series. It was kind of like, it was kind of a last minute thing and we didn't have a chance to actually set up and take our time, but it was kind of last minute. We didn't really get a chance to set up our tripod and take our time, but we did get a tour. Big shouts out to Bear for touring us around. And we actually thought it was like one of the coolest things ever. Like this spot had like crazy extreme ghosts to mm -hmm. it. And we kind of threw it into the series last minute and I really hope you guys liked it because it was really last minute, but it was basically like, Another guy kind of touring us around for once. Exactly. You know what yeah. I mean? And telling the stories of Georgetown. In case you guys missed that video, you guys can click the link above me and watch it there. It was a very cool tour around and I think we might go again if we can go overnight. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I think we're gonna try and inquire on it, to be honest. We're still yet to kind of email them and we're still getting stuff ready for this week and whatnot, but we're gonna try. So here we have it. We're here at our final location of the series. We're both really stoked to cover this it's a very intriguing story and it relates to the titanic if you guys so happen to be titanic fans you guys will know that the white star line was a fleet of ships and the titanic was one of them and today we are basically going to be uncovering the very first titanic wreck and there's a reason why it's the very first and right now we pulled up to the site it so happens to be called the ss atlantic and we actually just pulled up right now and what even it's like a cemetery like memorial yeah it's like site. a memorial ground for yeah. all the survivors not survivors but well there were survivors there i think they're actually were, yeah they might be buried over here but it's like half a cemetery it's kind of hidden actually the cemetery is very hidden and the memorial is somewhere over there but we will show you guys that how can i explain some like good words so basically this boat the ss atlantic was traveling from uk and was bound for new york city and basically this was really revolutionary at the time. The White Star Line was actually very new, I guess. Like this was 
the very first wreck of the White Star Line. Oh, really? Yeah, the, like the very first wreck from, like that's on record right now. It was run by a steam engine and they had, I think the sailing flag, or I don't even know what to call them, they're like sailing, like they equipped it with uh, sails. Okay. So in case the, you know, engine failed, they can sail using the, you know, the white things. I don't know what they're called, but. I forget what those are called too. Yeah, I'll pop a picture up right here. This is what they did. All of these vessels were very state of the art at the time. Not supposed to sink, not supposed to crash or anything like that. And it so happened to crash, but I will get into that. So basically once it departed Liverpool, there was about three or four days that was like beautiful. Ocean was nice, very calm and everything. And then they ran into a storm. The storm so happened to be going east while the ship was going west, which caused this giant like whirlpool I yeah guess. whirlpool and stuff and the ship actually almost capsized at one point That's so but scary. stayed its ground in the end it actually kept its balance but the surprising thing was very cool fun fact about this ship the families that aborted the ship had their husbands actually take a previous ship and they went to america so their families could actually have a place to stay when they took the ship over abroad again i find this hilarious i don't know why but the single men were separated from the women and children who were alone so they wouldn't harass them i find this hilarious because they actually put the women and child at the end of the ship the full families in the middle and the single men in the front just totally segregated just them. totally segregated them i don't know if it like fully like did the trick but i find that to be hilarious for some reason because <laughs> i can just picture like the men trying to like hit on the women and from like the front of the ship i don't know it, it's it's just my weird humor. But. So the ship continued on and started to make its way to New York. Story goes, the captain actually went and told his officer to go and check on the coal, see how much he needed to get to New York City. This officer actually had a tendency to underestimate the amount of coal, which basically caused the reason for this whole disaster to even happen. When he actually reported back to the captain, the captain made his decision and said they don't have enough coal to actually make it the whole way. So they rerouted to Halifax and that was a plan. And basically they were supposed to see this lighthouse and the captain actually decided to take a nap. And he basically said to his crew, wake me up when you guys see the lighthouse, we'll dock and you know, basically make it to shore, you know, gather up all of our stuff, stay the night, and then we'll head back to New York. They actually didn't see the lighthouse at all. So what was really happening was the current of the ocean was taking them all the way down south to where we are right now, AKA Terrence Bay. And in this bay, there's a giant rock that's just sitting there, just one behemoth of a rock just you know there just chilling i guess <laughs> and basically the ss atlantic crashed into this rock for some reason this rock had a name i don't know why people named this rock back in the day but i think it was called golden rule rock and there's, there's really no meaning behind this it's just called that anyways the boat hit the rock and basically it sank like the titanic i think it was the back end first and it kind of went up okay. but it, at, at one point it was actually on its side like leaned up against the rock the rock was holding it up and keeping it stable for a bit so people actually started to take ropes and go to the islands there like there were some islands around it we aren't at the real site you kind of have to take a boat to the actual site but people were actually taking ropes and like throwing the ropes onto land there was like a bunch of fishermen trying to help and stuff a lot of the families perished a lot of people but i think 400 and something well, actually all made it out. families perished only one kid survived yeah so one little boy actually survived this whole mess along with you know the couple hundred that actually survived all men though no yeah. not one woman not one woman survived mm -hmm. the crash so we'll talk about it and i think we're gonna try and reach out to this boy at one point tonight and you know see if he gives us any answers and stuff but long story short that's what really happened I and mean, that's still pretty long that's i feel pretty, like i've been yeah. talking for a while <laughs> but um that's pretty much it and we're gonna try and walk around i don't think the graves though that are here no, belong so to anybody the graves that are like in the little hidden cemetery don't belong to the people on the ship they belong to the sloan whites i think they're sloan or sloan, sloan whites. Or, yeah it's like i think it's just a family that was in terrence bay area but you'll see there's a memorial area where all the bodies were buried yeah. in a big group right near the water that we'll take you to. This was technically the first White Star Line disaster. I call it the first Titanic disaster. I know it's not called the Titanic, but it was the first one to go down nearly 40 years before the Titanic. And we're actually here. We're going to go and explore it. I mean, we both love it here and it's a pretty quiet area. It might get a little bit windy as we kind of get... Oh, it's going to get... be really windy yeah, today. I didn't, yeah. bring the, I didn't bring the wind muffs. It might get a little bit windy. These, you know, muffs aren't the best, but... Anywho, we're going to go and get our gear situated, go out and explore it and see if we can get any answers off 
that little boy or anybody here. I don't know if you guys can hear me right now, but wind is pretty bad. It's starting to spit a bit. How do you feel? I feel like if I had a, if a, if a, if a, if a I feel like if I had an umbrella, I would fly away. She's starting to think we won't be able to hear the spirit box or anything like that. Really? We can give it a try, but. All right, so we might have to come back tomorrow, guys. I really apologize for this, but we'll get this investigation going and come back when it's not a hurricane right now. Yeah, that way you guys can hear the investigation. What? That way you can hear the investigation. I can't hear you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is the building that's pretty much based on the SS Atlantic. Obviously not open, but yeah, we're gonna make our way over to the memorial site and try and find the hidden graves. You ready for this? I'm ready, Freddy. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess you can say that. So I'm really hoping we could actually not be interrupted by the weather. I mean, it seems like it's a nice calm night. You can feel it get a little bit heavier here. Right? I know, like especially... Instantly. The, some of the graves are just up, up, up on the top of the hill. The, the hill. <laughs> some of some of the graves are just up top of the hill. What's that smell? It's a certain plant. Yeah, it's a plant, but yeah. it smells like moist. I don't oh, even know how to like explain I hate that. that. It's like word. It smells like really damp grass. Yeah. You know? I know it's always in that one area too. Yeah, you guys will realize how scary it's gonna get. I mean, it's a pretty cool spot, but it gets really scary at night. We came here once before, or twice, actually. Hike gets longer and longer every time we're here. How many times have you been here at night? At night? Yeah, we came here like twice, maybe. This would be our actually. second time at night. Yeah. Because I remember last time it got pretty scary. This is where that church was. Kind of weird how it burnt down in the same month. And Years was, later, though, right? Yeah, years later. But it was also, it got burned down because it got struck by lightning. Yeah. Like how rare is that, you know? I know, right? Oh wait, so get this. Same day. The same day. So the SS exactly. Atlantic went down April, April 1st, 1st, 1873. And then this burnt down April, April 1st. April 1st, 1942. What the hell? Wow. What are the odds, eh? That is not a coincidence. I don't think How many years would that have been in between? 1942 to what? So this was 1942. Mm -hmm. 70 years? 69, 70 years? Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. That's crazy. Now you have like random benches in a weird formation here. These aren't benches, those are rocks. No, no, there's benches up there. Oh, what see the heck? Them? I've never even seen so, that. So, like, look, check this out. So, yeah, you got a random bench here, a bench facing that way. And then a bench facing that way. <laughs> weird. Yeah, it's a little bit weird, eh? Right here. Oh boy. Yeah, this is where it starts. Alright, after you. We noticed the first time we came here, there's a lot of hidden graves kind of. I mean, they're not even like shown, like these are pretty hidden. Yeah, you ha like you have to take these hidden paths yeah. to get to them. And there's like more than this, like Ethel. we're starting off with this. What's that? Ethel. Ethel? Right here. It says Ethel. Ethel. Like that one's just tipped over. Yeah, this one you can't read anymore. Oh, and there's like a certain can. name you can- Sloan White. What? Swan White. I don't know what it is, but Swan White is like all over the cemetery. They must have been like one of the first people to be yeah. in this area. I wouldn't doubt that. Because this is not the only Swan White. No, I think most of these graves are actually. Like so there's another... two names actually. There's like Swan White and like some other one. Yeah. There's another Swan White. Yeah, there's another Swan White. Oh, he was young. Yeah, that's the other one, babe. Jolly Moor. Another Sloan wheat? Is that? Yeah. Yeah, that is. Look at this light. Are they on? Yeah, do you see it? Oh yeah, they are. Oh, it's flickering. Is anyone here? What the hell? Is it because of your light? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm moving my light, nothing's happening. Okay. Whoa, it just went on. Can you turn the light off? 
Come Put on it now. On. Shut it off. We're friendly people. We just want to communicate with you, okay? <gasps> no way. Can you turn it back on? <gasps> no way. No way. That, that is, is so, so cool. cool. We're going to leave you alone. Yeah, thank you so thank much. Thank you. All right, well, let's carry on. Wow, that was actually so cool. They just want to be like left alone, I guess. Yeah, so here's where it starts. Yeah, you got oh, another yeah. swan right here. Whoa. That's just creepy. What the hell? The way that it looked like on the camera just made it look like a movie or something. Oh, really? That was creepy as heck. So here, guys, is where it really starts. There's like 20. 20 grays here? I'd say so. And you know what, babe? There might be even more bodies here. You never know, because I mean, there was a couple of grays, like look, that one's almost gone in the ground. Yeah. So there, I'm sure there's a couple in here that are just hidden. Oh, like look at this one. Oh, this wow. one's like buried in the bush. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Oh, that's not a, that's not a phone light. No, that's another one, personal yeah. or something. That's wow. crazy. So yeah, they're not even like it's taken even like care of. Like look. look at that one, yeah. Holy smokes. And that yeah, one over that. there. You can barely see though. Yeah, you can tell this isn't maintained. No, not at all. Oh my god. This is right in the trees, and I think I saw another one. Yeah, over here, come here. Whoa! I don't know if that's one or not. Yeah, actually it might be. But there's one. That actually might be right, right there. There's another one? All alone. Yeah, I think we missed this. Yeah, we did. We didn't come back this far last time. Like that's wow. That is creepy. It's so secluded though, you know? I know. It's weird. Alright, so coming to a conclusion here. These people weren't part of the SS Atlantic. No, they weren't. They're, like, there's no way. The bodies I mean, were actually buried over there. Yeah, they're all buried so, together. Yeah. I don't know. They may be like a family. They might be a family from like here back in the day. Some of them actually are taken care of though. Yeah, like they have flowers and lights and... Yeah, some of them are actually taken care of. But are they real flowers though? No, they're not. They're fake. What the hell? Shine the light on that for a sec. Yeah, like those are pretty new. Yeah. Yeah, those are new. Got like a bird up on there too. Oh, it's these things that smell. Something Is it? Here. It smells like, that's a pretty foul smell though. Yeah. This one I find strange. What? I find with the white rocks, it makes it look like the person just got buried here. Like recently? I guess so. Like a little bit. How though? Like they passed away in 1945. So it, I think they just put the white rocks on there, but it makes it look like it's new, you know? Yeah. Makes it really creepy to be honest. Yeah, like just recently buried or so. Right? Yeah. So. It gives off a really, I don't know what it is about this spot. Like it's cool, fascinating, but it gives off a weird vibe, yeah, it's right? It's a whole different vibe. It's not like a normal cemetery vibe, you know? No, it's not. It's, it's just, like it's just weird how they were all segregated. I know. Like it's it's actually weird. Like yeah. it's creeping me out almost. I highly doubt it's like negative though. I don't feel anything negative. No, I agree. I just feel like creeped out, you know? It's just like the mood of it. Yeah, like all the graves here just to kind of sit here and not be noticed. And especially too, like it just for me at least, I find the wooden cross graves are the creepiest because they're like the I original them, right yeah every time i see them it makes the creep factorness like go sh like shoot up to like 12 million yeah no i feel that anybody out here oh that was just going off there oh, you go yeah. somebody here it's gone now oh there we go oh. come talk to us Come on. Oh. It's just there. There it goes again. I'm telling you, it's that white cross. 
You think so? I think so. Alright, I'll go up to it. So I don't know your name. Neil. Neil? Hey Neil. Neil. Neil, are you here with us? Was that you doing that earlier? Two seconds ago? Oh, maybe not. Thank you, Neil. Okay, I'm gonna bend down here, okay? We have no idea how you passed away, but we come with respect, and we come with peace, and we just kinda wanna communicate with you, okay? Can you make this go off again? I don't know, babe. No. It's like whatever it was here is gone now. Did you feel anything here? I don't know. I thought it was, but then I walked over here and right away the energy shifted. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe he moved or she. All right. Thank you so much. This happened to you last time you were in the spot too. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I just, I can't talk when I'm in the spot. I know. It's happened to you too last time. It's like very foggy. Yeah, I most likely cut it out of the video, but I was literally just trying to talk to the camera here and I just couldn't talk. Don't know what happened. So we'll make our way to the memorial site now. Yeah, this is creepy. Dang. Like, I didn't think it would be this creepy in night vision. But it's then actually there's creepy. one, like a random lonely little friend over there. No way. Like why, the light over there? Like why are they right over there? Yeah, there's loose ones everywhere. I know. Makes you wonder though, like, are there more just that most got likely over? Though. Yeah, most likely. It's just kind of scary. These are all made Whoa. out of wood. That one back there at least. What the hell? I don't remember seeing these ones. Maybe, actually. I, I just, I don't know. I, we might have seen them. These are handmade. Yeah, slon white, slon white. Even but, another one back there. But they're all handmade. So this guy died in 1940 something. They were carved when it was like wet. Wet, yeah. So they're all made by the family. That one's like old barnwood or something. Yeah, that one's creepy. Is there one over here too? Yeah, look. There's another oh. one right there. Is that a wood one as well? Yeah, that's a wood one. No way. Wow. Dear brothers. Wow, he was... Nine years old. Aww. That's crazy. Wow. There's one thing I did forget to mention. Basically, when the boat hit the rock, it tilted to, what was it, port side? Yeah, port side. From what, yeah. Basically, everyone who was in the interior couldn't get out. The people that actually got out took a rope and they started, like, you know, throwing rope to shore and stuff. And, you know, a good portion got out. When the ship sank, on port side, like you said, the middle part of the ship and the back part of the ship, which is yeah. where all the single females were and the families, right? Yeah, so, yeah, because it tilted to the side, yeah. port side, and then the back end started sinking. That's where all the, that's where all the women and children were. And yeah. the way that they were explaining it, Elsa and I were researching it and basically the back end went down first. They didn't have electricity, obviously, but they had oil lamps. And the way people documented this was they heard the screaming in the back, all the women and children and stuff, and then the lights went out, the oil lamps, and then the screaming stopped, which meant everybody in the back end drowned. Yeah. So kind of sad the way it went down, but I don't think, I don't think any woman made it out alive. Not one woman and only one child made it out alive. Um, so because the ship had gone on its side, the port windows were like facing up. So there were people who were banging on the port window and the crewmen of the ship saw that and they were able to like break through it. Yeah. And that's how they managed to save that one kid. So now you guys can kind of see why this is the first Titanic wreck in my eyes. But I mean, this went down like 40 years before the Titanic. Yeah. So. But it's the same maker of the Titanic. So basically at the time they had like no time at all they had like a five minute window basically before this boat slid off the rock so so they had like next to no time to really get ready unlike the titanic like they had i mean they saw the iceberg coming right so 
they had time to prepare and try and you know veer off this also happened when everybody was sleeping right yeah and it was pitch black outside yeah. like this picture being dead asleep and you wake up to everybody franicking and panicking yeah and then you just die like you can't i can't even fathom that right now and also too like keep this in mind there were 900 people on that ship and only what two or three stairwells yeah. so you have 900 people trampling over each other just to try to get out because yeah. i mean you do that in fear right You're trying to survive they're actually very right in this divot we're walking right over them right yeah, now. Yeah, because the reason why, so all those rocks there, right near the shore, are actually placed there, and that's because the shoreline keeps coming, like the waterline keeps coming up and cutting off the shoreline. So they were worried that all the bodies would then go out back into the ocean. So they put up that huge uh, rock wall to make sure that the bodies don't get disturbed. Of whom 277 were interred in this interred churchyard. In this church. Yeah, the church that was actually over there probably took them in because back in the day, remember? Yeah. yeah. Remember what oh, yeah, uh, that's right. Ben said? Yeah. The churches would actually take the dead bodies and bury them near it. True. Or under it. But yeah, maybe we can reach out to that boy. Yeah. See what's up with him. Wow, so it says here he was one of perhaps two children to survive. All women perished. Only one married male passenger is known to have survived, but there may have been others. Whoa! In the fear that all, in the fear that they were straining the resources of the small communities of Lower Prospect and Terrence Bay, two small groups of exhausted survivors made the difficult journey to Halifax on foot. No way. So they literally just went through a huge traumatic experience in their life and then walked from here to Halifax on foot. So picture it, picture it for a sec. It's a 20 minute drive, drive from here to Halifax. So that would have been well, two hours, three see. hours, maybe even more of that's a true. walk from here. I mean, also keep in mind, like nowadays we have roads and stuff. They didn't always have exactly. all the same roads. So it might've been like a forest, I don't know. Let's see. So if you were to walk, So keep in mind guys, this is like walking on a legit road. They probably had to trek through forests, trek through all this other stuff. It would take you seven hours. You're joking right now. And that's like in our time. So it probably took them like double Even that. More. So yeah, this is probably where we're standing right now. Like they have them, um, are those tombs? No, so they're um, wooden wood. caskets. Yeah. So it says here, the body of the, uh, 19 class passengers were sealed in metal coffins and shipped to their destination. There was nobody to claim hundreds of the, the victims. They and more than 50 victims from the crew were buried in this local area wow. in wooden coffins. Damn. I don't know how you feel, but I kind of feel residual and intelligent here. Do you feel anything though? Nothing yet, eh? No, nothing yet. Is there anyone here with us tonight? If there's anyone here, can you make Whoa. Oh, it's loud. Can you make yourself known? Roland. Roland? Can we talk to John Hanley? We heard that you were the little boy that survived the wreck. John Hanley, are you here? John Hanley, can you come forward and talk to us? You hear that? I think that was just the flag. Yeah, it's the flag up there. If there's anyone here from the SS Atlantic, can you please say yes? Are any members from the SS Atlantic here with us right now? And we're getting closer and 
closer to Halloween. So like the veil is getting thinner and thinner every yeah, single night. It's almost, yeah, straight up. Do you see us? Are you with us right now? Speak to us. All you have to do is speak and we should be able to hear you. How do you feel about the event that happened? Are you upset about it? I was trying to say something. That was a whisper right there. Mm -hmm. Talk into this device, okay? Tell us, how many people are here with us today? How many spirits are here with us? Four. Four. You heard that too. Four, yeah. four people. Do you guys have names? Can you tell us? Or if you don't want to tell us your names, are you a girl, a boy, a child? Girl. Girl. Men. How many women are with us right now? One said yes. None. You heard that? Yes. Are there any girls? No. No. What about children? One. You heard that? It sounds like they're having a conversation with each other. What are you trying to say? Run. What are you trying to say right now? Left. Left. Are you beside us on our left? Port. It said port. That did. The SS Atlantic was on its port side I'm when it crashed on the rock. I'm like hearing, Okay, I'm, we're getting somewhere now. I'm like hearing things from like over there and behind. There we go. That was not the flag. That was someone walking in the grass. Are you over there? Speak to us. Are you over there? Here. Are you sitting in the benches here somewhere? Whoa. That was so clear. Which bench are you sitting in? I'm Behind. Are you in this one here? Do you want us to sit in the bench? Yeah. Yeah? That's what it said, I think. Alright, let's give it a shot. How about you sit alone? and no. see if you feel anything. No. You're right in front of me. Oh, okay, like you're not gonna leave me? No, no, no. Okay, yeah. All right, so you sit on the bench alone and tell me if you feel anything, maybe. Okay, that just said sit. Did I say sit? Yeah. Cam, I'm sitting here. Did you want to come sit beside me? Fish. Fish? No. Why don't, why don't you want to sit beside me? I'm like What was that? Did you hear that? Was that somebody knocking on something? I heard that too That said yeah Was that you knocking? Ocean That just said ocean Did it? No way. Are you in the ocean? 
Yeah. Is that how you had to save yourself? Did you have to use a rope? Did you pass away in the crash or were you a survivor? Did that just say survivor? Beneath. It's trying to at least, right? Here, I'll ask again, okay? Priest. Whoa. No, oh, okay. I also heard priest. Did you pass away in the crash or did you survive the crash? I don't know if that's just like the technology here. Oh, oh, oh. Someone's right here. Oh my gosh, you're right. Are you sitting beside her? There we go. Dude, that's like. Yeah. Maxing you're sitting out. beside me, aren't you? Yes or no? Alright, I'm gonna leave that right there, okay? There was someone sitting right there. Why aren't you sitting beside me anymore? Oh, my neck hurts. Really? Yeah. Are you affecting her? Yes. Did you hear that though? There was something going through the bushes there. I know. You heard I've that been, too, eh? I've been hearing and feeling stuff from this side since we like went and sat on that bench. Seriously. Yeah. All night. It's really heavy and like something's going on over there. Are you to my left or my right? Skull? Skull? What's on the left? Why do you keep saying left? That's where they are. They must be like somewhere over there. Are you walking through the bushes right now? I said come. Where do you want us to go? Check the pieces. Check the pieces. What pieces are you talking about? What the hell is happening here? I know, it just went super quiet. How did all the batteries just go out? Literally in everything. Seriously, yeah. This, the camera, I don't know about the flashlight, that's always dead, but... Yeah, this one's always I dead. don't understand. Like, we just had to swap our batteries. Is that one working now? Yeah, it's working now. I don't know what happened. Maybe an energy just, like, drained it. Yeah. Somebody over here? Something weird going on right now. Do you feel that? Yeah. I could have just sworn I just heard footsteps over there. On the path? On the path. We just came from there, like no one's there. No, there's not a single person walking this way right now. No, and as you can see too, we're literally the only car in the parking lot. Yeah. This is weird, like the energy just got so much stronger. I know. I don't know if it's like, maybe someone's following us, do you think? Maybe. I don't know, you'd have to kind of I don't know, we'd have to just like sit here and see if we see anything or hear anything. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What? Something's just off. I don't know how to explain it. It's weird, eh? <laughs> like right after that spirit box session, it just got like really dark. tense and dark, yeah. I don't, I don't want to go back down the path. I think we should. Really? I don't feel comfortable, but I think we should. I think we might actually get some answers. Seriously. Okay. All right. I've already protected ourselves, me and you both. I don't know. It's kind of creepy. There's like red lights in there too. Yeah. That's even spookier. What's over here? I don't know. I feel like somebody's here. Spirit. 
Can you show yourself? If you show yourself, I can see you. Make yourself known to me. Someone's here. Yeah. They're hiding though, they're not letting me see them. I don't know, babe. I don't know, Charles. I'm getting a really weird feeling. You good? No. What was that? What? I just saw someone. You saw somebody? Someone just like right near, right near this door. Someone was just standing on that porch. Seriously? I'm not even kidding. Someone was literally just standing right there. Saw them standing on the porch and they had their like hands on the railing like they were like just kind of peeking at us for sure what you saw like the head Positive. shoulders it was whatever the head it was a man with short hair and he was wearing a black short sleeve and black pants okay i believe you and like one sec it's not shadows shine the light on the door it's hard to pick it up from back here Babe. What? When we were down there and we were doing spirit box, it said priest. <gasps> That's what right. What burnt? The church burnt. Where did I just see a person? The new church that's to replace the one that just burned down. Oh my God. What if I just saw the priest of that old church? Walking over there? This just took a turn. Cause I was feeling stuff from back there and now you're feeling stuff from the church so I have no idea oh what my the god no that's why come here that's your church bell are you serious right now what the f I knew it I was right what the hell that's the old church bell yeah like that's from way back in the day 100%. Like, Lamar, where, oh. look where this is. I saw him right here. Just walking. Or was he standing still? He was standing still. Really? And then this is exactly in this, like near the same spot. That's not a coincidence. I'm not going to lie to you. You just freaked me the hell out right there. I just freaked myself out. I didn't know I was going to find this. I had no idea you were going to even like look over to this church. Because I was feeling stuff back there. Something was telling me to just, I was drawn here. Like I just, that's that's freaking me out. Like I'm sorry, but that just freaked me the hell out. Wow. Yeah, because this church was built to replace the one that burned. The other one, right? And then this is the exact same bell. From that church. That's the exact same bell. So what the hell did you just see? Oh my god. But like he's gone. Like I don't. I don't feel the need to like, like I don't have that urge to be looking anymore. Yeah. So why, why did we have to come here? I don't get anything. No? No. Did we come here? I don't know. Like that, like I don't know how to explain it. I guess it was kind of like an urgency. Like, something in my head just kept telling me, like, go this way, go this way, go this way. And then when I was focusing on the church, that's when the man popped up. Was he but looking this way? He or? was looking right at us. Mm -hmm. He's not mean. I feel like he's protecting us. Or and he's just kind of wanting to be near a church, maybe? I, I think it was definitely the priest. For it being like the very first, you know, White Star Line disaster, there's a lot of energy here. I know. With the ship, it, with us being on a graveyard, and also the yeah, the, the graveyard, the church, the uh, Three. yeah, graveyard, the church, the memorial, the the whole nine yards. Everything it's been weird. Three. It's interesting, kind of digging deeper into it, yeah. but there's a weird energy here that just like is just weird at night, you know. So I don't know. If you guys, want us to come back? Let us know in the comments, and we will. But. I think this is a place that 
we shouldn't overstay. Yeah. You know, I'd be willing to make another trip to do more of an investigation, but tonight's just, I don't know. Personally, I don't think we should stay. Yeah, that was weird. All right, guys, so I think we're going to end off this series here and right now. Thanks again for being a part of it. Happy Halloween. Happy October. It's been spooky. I don't know what it is, but this has been a really weird run. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I just can't explain it. It's, it's been a little bit different. Like, we hit up a lot of spots in the series. And even before the series, we, like, were stopping by here in the daytime. It was pretty cool, but... Yeah, beautiful. Like, yeah, really beautiful, but scary at night. There's been so many places we've been to, and this one kind of is up there at least yeah definitely you know? I'd say. i don't know what did you think about the spot other than like you know the priest and spirit. there's a lot more happening than we know yeah that's just like the vibe i pick up here like there's a lot more behind the scenes i think it's more like from what i'm feeling it's more like in the spiritual realm they're like up to something yeah you know what i mean mischievous here mischievous and like either hanging out or they're like i don't know I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like there's something that they're doing. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like they're, they're not just standing, hanging around. Like they're they're doing something in the other world. You yeah, know? they're completing a task. Yeah. Yeah. So I know this is supposed to be on the vlog channel, but I thought, you know, let's post two main channels for you this Halloween and, you know, give you something to watch. And I know it's been a little bit weird recently. We haven't really been posting on the main channel, but there's been a lot we've been going through. And I think this has been a good run, honestly. Yeah. Also, too, like, if you guys enjoyed the Night of Horrors and want us to make this a tradition every Halloween, let us know in the comments and we will oh, definitely yeah. do our best to continue this tradition. Yeah, maybe bring you guys to some more spots yeah. that are not in Halifax and, you know, farther out, maybe. Yeah, exactly. And we might do less but more of an in-depth investigation. We might do more. We have no idea. Yeah. I actually feel like this spot would be cool to come back to. Yeah. Like, I feel like there's some answers here which if we were to come back and dig more into them mm -hmm. and kind of see like what you know they're trying to say because a lot of relevant stuff actually came up yeah port true. side you know the k2 actually picked up somebody sitting you know, beside you priest the priest oh my gosh yeah yeah so yeah even the priest and everything it's been yeah it's been cool so comment down below if you guys do want us to come back i think we will make a run back here for sure and maybe i always say this but we might stay longer 3 a.m 4 a.m i'm just not camping here because i can't <laughs> stand the smell yeah it is pretty bad